هذا هو اليوم الذي صنعه الرب فلنفرح ولنتهلل به المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور المسيح قام من بين الأموات ووطئ الموت بالموت ووهب الحياة للذين في القبور Christos on esti epne kron thanaton, thanaton batisas, keti sentith ni masi zoif karisa menos. Well, just five hours later, X plus begins anew. So, we'll see what we'll do, we'll get it done. So we can get it done for today. Right now, I just, I'm just uploading the, uh, the uh, X Plus for the uh, 19th and 20th, and so today's going to be for the 21st. And got a full uh, a full shooting schedule for today. It probably will end up going again until just about 3:30 in the morning, 3:34. So we'll see where the day takes us. Well, I just spent uh, four hours recording, a, uh, editing a new video for one of my friends. Uh, see how it comes out, and I still have uh, two more videos to edit for today, and <laughs> then we're off. <laughs> All right, take it easy. I'll see you in a bit. Uh, it's been an entire day of editing. Uh, I also went over to take care of my mom again, and I'll be there again on Thursday taking care of my mom. So, uh, been an interesting day. Uh, I'm getting more done on my video editing. This. I'm, I'm actually happy, ha happy with with uh, Caden Live is really performing well. Uh, I'm able to do overlays. Uh, I'm able to do. Uh, I'm now trying to put uh, graphics uh, and other type of titles. I can even do uh, stop motion animation within Caden Live. Now what I'm gonna try to do is pair up GIMP with Caden Live to see if I can do anything better. And then the goal after that is to uh, sort of put uh, Blender and Caden Live together to start doing uh, videos from within Blender. That is on the list as well. And then uh, the next sort of, well, yeah, next thing. I want to become working on a bit, and I've got some test files done. Uh, if you look at the ending file, for all of the now the X plus and the and the, and, and the uh, comments X, the last segment uh, this, that says free speech rules here. That's the computer, and the next goal is to get the computer to start singing to do the Vocaloids. That's the next goal is to do a Linux version of Vocaloids, and to get uh, uh, Linux to the point where you can actually produce uh, uh, you know. Music that people want to listen to. Uh, they don't wouldn't mind, you know, almost almost on a professional level, on a professional level. So uh, that's the goal. That's sort of the next goal. And the, sort of the next goal as, as things will move out. Uh, and then I can use this uh, in terms of the way I'm, the way I'm doing the stuff. For, I'm basically playing with it right now. It can then be used to make and, and improve the way I do my documentary is to put graphics in it, to put other audio into it, uh, to bring in uh, elements that are separate, that they need to be shown separately in uh, the documentary from different clips. I can either do it as a fade into a clip, or I can actually put uh, the, uh, the graphic in there as a window. So I could still be talking like this, and up next to me here, or next to me here, there could be a little window showing graphic and informa graphics and information. So that's the way I could sort of approach approach the whole issue of, of turning documentaries into uh, research papers uh, and making them equivalent. Is that using this vi different video techniques that you can actually bring in a lot of the written information that would stay separate within a paper into uh, video production now and into uh, documentary production. And so, bit by bit, chunk by chunk, uh, the stuff I do here 
slowly but surely pushes things forward, whether I'm playing or I'm actually doing something more serious. And even for me, even the stuff where I'm, when I'm doing more serious, it's still fun for me. This is something that I like to do. I love the research. It's basically, like, it's like, it's, it's being a kid for the rest of your life. Uh, it's, it's nothing that I have to do things that are horrible or that I don't want to do. So, I'm lucky in that way. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to go outside and wait for, I'm uh, waiting for a video to process and I have to upload it, so I think I'm going to go sit outside for a bit and, uh, relax. Alright, well, uh, uh, this was going to be the uh, last uh, segment of the vlog today, but uh, I want to do one more test in here, I'm watching Hannah Montana and watching Nerd Zarella on the uh, on the video on the computer. I always do two things at once. Sometimes I have the volume off on there. Sometimes I have the volume off down here, uh, just to sort of see how things go. I'm gonna go check my Twitter now. Some interesting stuff come, has come in. I'll check my email. Oh, a lot more has come in. Yeah, but I, I need to sort of this sort of this segment here is uh, more about uh, checking the lighting than anything else. Um, so th that's why I need to do this. I want to get, get different the different ways you have your lighting with the back lighting lighting in front because there's a light over here. Sometimes it throws up too much light, and if there's not enough light from the back, it uh, overshadows the, it swamps the sensors on this one here, so the sensor darkens it, so half my face is dark and half my face is light. And you need to get a good, consistent balance of light in here, uh, particularly if I'm going to be doing more than uh, just simply the vlogs here, if as I'm working on uh, various different projects on the computer, uh, I'm going to need to make sure that uh, uh, that uh, the work that I'm doing on here uh, can be seen. Um, now I've been trying to film outside. I, I filmed outside, and I've been playing with uh, with Caden Live. Caden Live has uh, uh, what should I call it? Caden Live has has the ability for some reason and I've never really tried it out before I've recently just tried it out more more often than not to improve the light quality of a dark room again it's, it's, I had talked about this before about uh, uh, doing video in with ambient lighting and so far, it, it, the, the, the result has been pretty good, better than I expected it to be, so uh, it, this, I'll do this again tonight. The last clip is going to be outside, and I'm going to try to do, it's nighttime, it's, it's around 1.30 in the morning. Uh, there's just the street lights out there and, and, and the security lights for the building, and there should be enough light that if I do it right, uh, I should be able to film and uh, get it adjusted so that we're doing... Uh, the video, the last segment uh, for uh, X Plus for today, for for May 21st. Uh, well, it's not May 21st now. Technically, it's uh, it's 22nd. Uh, but uh, I want to film outside to see if we can do uh, the last segment being ambient lighting. So that's so I'll leave that for now, and uh, we're gonna go outside in a few minutes, do the ambient lighting test, and do the last comments of the day. Well, it's the end of the day, and now I'm vlogging outside. This is the last uh, section of the uh, of uh, X Plus. Well, it's not quite the end of the day. This is sort of the last segment, and then I have a little bit more of cl more cleaning up to do when I get inside. I got to do to check on the last section of YouTube videos that I have to go through and then make out my schedule for tomorrow. 
Uh, and basically what goes on the schedule tomorrow is the stuff I didn't finish today, uh, but I had intended to finish today. Basically you've got a pr uh, product list that you do on a daily basis, and progress isn't necessarily by, is not necessarily judged by whether you finish this or even how much you get done, but whether the quality of the work that comes out of it. And that often, more often than not, is determined uh, by things you, you don't realize initially, but, but you realize afterwards. Uh, like, um, let's say you, spent, you plan to spend an hour doing a video, but you end up spending four hours on that video, knocking off some of the products on the list that you had intended to work on. But in the process of working on that video for four hours, you learn some new stuff that you, and gain some new knowledge that you didn't have before you started and wouldn't have had had you gone on and worked on those other projects that you had listed out for the day. And that's kind of what happened today, is that uh, uh, I kind of fell behind in some of my projects that I had listed out for today. But in the video editing process, I learned to do more of the animation. I learned to do more of uh, uh, the graphics and editing. Uh, I learned how to do overlays, various different types of transitions. And because in, in Linux, a lot of the stuff isn't cut and dry, there's a, and there's bugs in it, you have to learn how to work around the bugs. You have to learn how to, to really sort of and make it debug the system as you go along, uh, because stuff that, that are suggested by other people, if you go out to the community and find out uh, what they're doing, what they do on their systems may not necessarily work on your system, so you still have debug work on your own. In other words, the information out there is, isn't given to you. It gives you a suggestion of what could be done, and then you take it from there and work on your systems until you find a solution. And that's sort of what happened today in Linux and video, uh, uh, video editing. Excuse me. This is what happened today in uh, video editing in Linux. So I always say, I didn't get all the product I intend to get done, but I did end up further ahead in my video editing and, and, and my video processing. In terms of the daily production, I'm actually further ahead than I actually plan to be at the end of the day today. So that's a plus. And so I'm going to end it here. Uh, in the next vlog will start uh, actually in a couple hours and it will be back in the main room there. Uh, it won't be out here. Uh, I'd like to wish my, uh, uh, before I go, I'd like to wish uh, my internet friend, my YouTube uh, buddy, uh, Zoe McLean, I wish to wish her a happy birthday. So, happy birthday, Zoe. And that's it for today. See you tomorrow. Free speech rules here at Democratic Earth.